Stop yelling at me, you old coot. <laughs> anyway, Oblivion walkthrough 4, next one walkthroughs, and space off games like, um, here's the Imperial Arena, and this is a very, very straightforward, um, quest line, and I would be kind of surprised if you needed a guide for it, but it's up here, uh, so you know where it is if you want to do it, and for those people who don't have the game and they just want to watch it just because they can. Anyway, um, Imperial Arena is directly south of the marketplace in the Imperial City, and uh, obviously, and you need to. Uh, this guy will give you some information about it, and you don't have to talk to him, he's pretty optional, pretty much optional. But uh, if you want, you can bet off fights, and you can bet up to like uh, 500 gold, I think it was. I, I don't know, it's a pretty good way of getting money if you're lucky, but... If you're really unlucky, you can also lose a lot of money, so it's kind of like real gambling. But anyway, um, come into here and you have to talk to this guy in this corner. And uh, uh, there's other people around here, right? There's the Grand Champion who you'll end up fighting eventually. He also has a quest. The Grand Champion's got a quest called the Great Prince, and you can start it right away if you want to, or you can wait till you get to fight the Grand Champion and then start it. Whichever works for you. So we talk to this guy, his name is Owen, I think that's how you say it, and uh, tell him that you want to join it. He'll talk crap about you, tell you that you can't do anything, you're horrible and everything, and you know, my grammar could beat you, you know, what pretty much what everyone does, but little does he know, you could probably kill everyone in oblivion without dying. Okay, so uh... Just talk to him and go through. If you want to listen to him talking, then play the game on your own. I'm not going to stop talking just because he is. Uh, you, he tells you about a battle raiment, and it's pretty much the arena armor you have to wear. And he'll give you light or heavy. I choose heavy because uh, heavy. I, I'm a heavy. Well, in this game, I go heavy armor. But whatever works for you. And uh, at the end of, when you finish the uh, arena, you get this enchanted raiment, this special raiment. It's like raiment of valor, and it's pretty good. I use it over my imperial armor because of the enchantments that uh, the raiment has, and my imperial armor doesn't have that many enchantments that the raiment has. And uh, you have to wear this to be able to fight. It looks kind of stupid, and it's kind of hard to repair if you're not over 50. Uh, armor because it's enchanted so if you want to repair this armor you have to pay someone or get 50 armor so before you do this the only thing before you do the arena the only thing I can really say is uh, get 50 armor now the arena is also a really great way of leveling up because well you fight a lot in it and it's a really great way to get your destruction skill or magic skill up and uh, to get your blade and block and heavier light armor skill up even now that little pedestal, that circle thing, as soon as, you're done, as soon as you're done with the fight, if you like touch that thing or whatever you do uh, with it, then you will uh, be completely healed. But it's just like waiting, pretty much. So uh, anyway, uh, the quest right there, I had Imperial Dragon Armor. That would be the end of the main quest, which you can get Imperial Dragon Armor a week after you finish the main quest. Or two weeks in-game after you finish the main quest. So uh, uh, anyway, um... Here's the arena, and right here you pretty much go through and fight everyone, of course. And the first fight isn't that hard, obviously. Uh, if you have like protection spells, I would recommend using them throughout the arena. Also, if you uh, what's I gonna say? Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, dang it. Um. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway, um, just uh, pretty much practice blocking and everything. Now, the only rules in uh, the arena are that you can't loot the dead bodies and you can't do anything to the dead bodies. So, if they have a really cool weapon, like right there, they have an ebony sword, uh, ebony sword, and I think she had a dwarven shield. If that would have been really cool to pick up to sell, but you can't. So anyway, the fights in the imperial arena are kind of weird because uh. Like, it, it'll get easy, then it'll get really hard to fight, then it'll get easy again. And it's just really, really weird how it works. <laughs> but oh well. So anyway, um, 
This video is coming to an end, so I'm gonna stop talking. But that was fight one for the pit dog, uh, pit dog rank, and there are different ranks throughout the arena. Pit dog is the first one, and there's three fights per rank. Here, kid. This is your payout for the victory. There's more where that came from if you can keep on winning. Now go unwind before your next fight.